Hello everyone, this is Kaifu here with game 2 in the series between Khan and Sebastian. We have Khan on the left side playing Blazer, and on my right side we have Sebastian playing Sylvia. So it will be Blazer vs Sylvia matchup, and no, this, is a, this isn't a Blazer Knight deck, so you don't have to worry about being Blazer, uh, seeing Blazer Knight matches because I know a lot of you guys. And a couple months ago, I didn't like watching Blazer Knight vs Blazer Knight, so this isn't a Blazer Knight mirror match, it's just a Blazer vs Sylvia matchup. So let's get on to the game itself. Um, Sebastian can be making a power, uh, his play at the moment, not power play, I was about to say power play for some reason. To make his play, uh, he's dropping the flame sprite, which can give some good aggressive uh, minor play, so doing 200 point damage directly to Khan, which does put him down to 3,800 life point. Not only that, the flame sprite can be potential uh, spell removal or removal spell, uh, by depending how many fairies you have on the field. Usually when using flame sprite uh, in a non-fairy deck, you usually only have flame sprite as your fairy, so at most you have 4 on the field, you can only do 400 point of damage. Uh, in comes the Ruge, play by the uh, play by Khan and not end up dropping the bow as well, so extra defense, not allowing uh, Sebastian to put any aggressive play. Not only that, the Ruge is there for defending just in case uh, Khan uh, can't deal with Lancelot, so he can sacrifice the egg for blocking and search for his own Lancelot and go uh, retaliate back to uh, Sebastian. So let's see what can Sebastian do in this situation. He has two problems to deal with. One is the bird and one is the uh, rig egg. Uh, however, the rig egg can be easily dealt with the uh, spell card that uh, Sebastian just played. I uh, can't remember the name at the top of my head. Uh, however, what it does is that uh, if you deal 700 damage to a Resonator or J Ruler, uh, one of the effects will happen. You deal damage to the J Ruler, you lose an Impressionable. You deal damage to a J uh, Retinator. Deal damage to your resonator uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, remove it instead, so not allowing the rook egg going to the graveyard, so which not allow uh, Khan to search for his deck to uh, for his toolboxing and so on. But however, he does have his own last on the field and dropping attacking directly. But Sebastian making a block, which was a little misplay. Again, he is quite new to the game, so he doesn't know all the high. Uh, strategy play and so on so what of Sebastian should have done should have took the damage instead because the boat is still in play not only that it was still in recover position so during before the recover phase he can burn that last of 100 damage each time so you can use a demon flame to destroy or thunder to get rid of it and so on so what you will put your uh, position even better now let's see what he can do in this situation he's got pay free and dropping the little dread on the field surprisingly. Uh, usually people uh, hold on to the fourth uh, magic stone and use the uh, little dread's awakening ability and get rid of the problematic card but I do see the reason why he dropped a bit early. He needs the extra defense on the field because obviously Lancelot can be a, a problematic card while he's on the field so he can do potentially a lot of damage so he needs a body on the field to defend. So. But wasting a little dread, he could put something else on it if he had anything else better. But usually, a lot of people will save the little dread in hand uh, for awakening power plays, such as uh, stealing a resonator, give a swift attack directly, or plus six minus two, six uh, gives a yeah, minus six or plus six. Yeah, plus six and plus six and minus six attacking defense, which will give a potential power play, even a possibly plus two advantage as well. Uh, rapid growth onto the Lancelot played by Khan, which will exceed to the thousand point, well, exactly a thousand point. Uh, so it will trigger it, so forcing uh, Sebastian not to block because he knows that if it blocks, he loses a little dread. So he's forced to take the thousand point directly to the face, which does pull him down to 2400 life point compared to Khan's 3800. So, which is putting a lot of pressure onto Sebastian because he he doesn't have a lot of uh, stuff he can do at the moment. Not in that Guinevere and Rigue combination is already on the field. Guinevere allows you to draw card, Rigate allows you to search, not only that, he can just simply sacrifice the Rigate uh, with one of his effect to search first and then draw later to see what he gets. So let's see what can Khan do, uh, not Khan, uh, Sebastian do in this situation. Paying free resource, uh, dropping a uh, Flame King Shout, uh, doing 400 AoE damage directly onto the field, so which putting uh, both cards are uh, like such as uh, Guinevere and Rigate goes to Rigate, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Khan wants the Rook go to the so uh, it didn't actually make him lose anything on the field. But however, sacrificing the Guinevere, I'm pretty sure he does the Guinevere first. You draw two cards first before getting the search off. But usually the combination is that you sacrifice the Rook to search first, then draw two cards, deck thing by one, and drawing the key cards later you need. Um, 
He's got. I'm not sure we're gonna search for this situation. Maybe another last or uh, Hector. Uh, actually, actually search for Snow White, but he just discard the Snow White. So maybe he's just using it as a discard folder. I'm not sure about that. But however, uh, fl sh uh King Flame Shout. I'm uh, not King Flame Shout. King, wait, Flame King Shout allows you to drop a uh, free cost resonator, fire resonator onto you and gain swiftness onto it another turn. So he does drop the little dread again, not surprisingly. Wasting this little dread, not that sure. And giving a matching stick as well uh, to give a first strike. I'm not quite sure about this play because um, if I was Sebastian, obviously he is new to the game, so he doesn't know the most combination play and so on. Uh, if I was Sebastian, I'll put the uh, little uh, the, the stick onto one of the resonant, obviously, but banishing it and do 200 damage directly to the Lancelot because he attacked into the Lancelot, so that was a waste of attack. And not only that, the Lancelot is already took 400 damage, correct? And the magic stick can do 200 uh, to a uh, to a uh, resonator on the field, so you can banish it and obviously get rid of the uh, Lancelot with a magic stick. Now that using two little dread attack directly do 16 damage on board, which will put a lot of pressure onto Karna, which will put him down to 2,200 life point, which is close to your life points of putting yourself in a stronger position instead of wasting an attack onto the Lancelot because you already have a card that can already dealt damage directly to the Lancelot because you. Last lot already took about uh, 400 damage early in the game. In comes the uh, in comes the um, death side, so not allowing uh, Sebastian to J activate anytime soon because if he does J activate, uh, he doesn't have the ability swiftness, so you can't attack right away. Not in that you lose the impressionable, but I don't think Sebastian has any uh, way to give us uh, Sylvia impressionable at all. Not in that Blazer is still in play, so Blazer can just simply flip for free and kill Sylvia right off the bat. But Khan looks like he's about to get rid of, rid, one of, rid of the Lord Dread because obviously Lord Dread, even through uh, it's just an 800 vanilla, uh, it, 800 vanilla it can be a lot of trouble uh, sometimes because when uh, they're big and so on and obviously the rest of the deck cannot handle big cards in the field so you, obviously that getting rid of the big cards as much as you can will be the best options. Uh, doing fringe upon damage directly onto the Lord Dread with the addition and then attack directly into itself 500, uh, and 500 plus 300 so that's a total 800 damage but however Snow White does have first strike so which allows the strike first before the Lord Dread strikes back so putting it in a stronger position for Khan. So at the moment Sebastian is uh, still not out of, out of the woods yet because obviously Death Sight's in play, a bow will still one counter, uh, Snow White can potentially be a problematic card in the long run as long as uh, Khan stocks up on those uh, counters. Uh, and now that he wasted two little dreads already, so there's not a lot of way uh, Sebastian can get out of this situation. So let's see what he can do. Tapping for another Magic Stone, because you know they can't J activate. If he does, the, if he does J activate, the Death Sight will actually stop him from doing anything. Let's see now. Ping one. Uh, to give a match, matching stick again and attacking directly Snow White to give a first strike as well. So, pretty much. Uh, but in comes the. Oh, I think he actually misplayed that. Uh, yeah, he actually misplayed it. So, the Snow White does die and so on. But, however, I think Khan, sh what he should have done is he, he should have left one of the green matching stone open because he did have a rapid rope in his graveyard. But obviously, he had the red black stone open instead. So now uh, Khan is actually kind of like a top deck position at the moment. He has no way to deal with the 8-8 uh, eight, eight swiftness first strike uh, little dread at the moment. In comes another bow, so he might have a way to get rid of the uh, uh, rid of little dread because now one bow has one counter, the other bow has two counters, so that's a total of 800 point damage directly to a little dread if they decide to attack. So let's see what can. Uh, can't do the situation. He actually hard casting uh, calling the Kukula out, which it has 500 attack and has swiftness. So I'm not sure about this play, but it does allow him to put, get the extra push in, putting uh, uh, Sebastian down to 1,900 instead of like 1,400. So which does allow uh, Khan to put in a strong position because he is putting the pressure onto the board. Now Sebastian has to find a way to get rid of those bows because those bows can be problematic because those bows can actually deal a lot of damage to Lourdes and obviously Lourdes has no way of pumping up unless uh, Sebastian tap for magic stone which could be a little dread stone and a little, little, little red true stone which can pump up uh, pump up the uh, 
low dread uh, up to 200 attack and defense but instead uh, he is losing his uh, low dread to two uh, to two bows so I um, wasn't sure if he's banging yeah he's banging it out for some reason dropping the uh, golden dragon uh, Ruda, uh, Gil Ruda, <laughs> let me say that again Gil Ruda, uh, dra uh, golden dragon so what it does is that it's witness and flying it gains 200 attack for each fire matches turn you control so obviously a total of six which did a clean 2000 point damage directly to Khan so put him down to 1000 life point now so he isn't in a good position anyway because Khan uh, already took 2000 directly to face and has, has to find a way to get rid of the uh, uh, golden dragon if not that it will be swinging up of 2000 directly to the face not only that Sebastian uh, even even the uh, even the uh, golden dragon does die. He has the ability to resurrect by sacrificing free fire magic stone if he really wants to. But instead, he's actually not allowed to go through. Like if Sebastian knew, maybe he didn't know about the last effect of uh, the golden dragon. What he should have done is sacrifice free fire magic stone to resurrect it, because uh, by resurrecting it, you able to get a body on the field in recover position, which can defend off you. Not in that. Uh, Sebastian uh, doesn't have a way to stop the rapid growth, but instead, instead of taking the rapid growth combination with a rook egg, not rook egg, uh, with the Kukulu and uh, and um, Susano, uh, Khan actually forgot about the rapid growth in his graveyard that he played early in the game. Now, maybe a good tip for you guys that if you are, if you guys are new to the game, always check your graveyard, see what you have. You might be a potential card you can use. Dropping Golden Dragon, but however, it got Zeke the Ancient Magic directly, so cancelling the summon to not allowing, uh, not allowing to get the finisher off he needs. So I'm pretty sure this is a game, guys. He's only at 200 life point. There's no way he can survive a Susano and a Kukulu to the face. So he is not in a strong position, and I'm pretty sure this is the game. 1,000 life point, 200 life point, and yes, he does screw it up. So that's the game, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.